Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 29th, 2022. Well, as this year winds down, we continue to chop in a range with very low volume. And yesterday, we happened to chop lower. On Tuesday, we chopped higher. Wednesday, we chopped lower. So perhaps maybe today we chop higher. Who knows? So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I hope you had a wonderful evening and are ready for another day of probably low volume uh, price action in the market. Let's take a look at the diamonds here and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. We continue to have that situation where we're, um, where the Dow is the strongest of the index is holding above this downtrend break here in the market. And if you take a look, we are still holding on to this price support here. Yesterday, however, we tested this support level pretty hard. You can see those bears were pushing pretty hard against that area. But once again, we are doing that on very low volume, which means it can reverse just about as quickly as we went down. So, so far, we have to give this up to the bulls. They are holding on to this support level. They are continuing to hang in there pretty solidly with the Dow. Now, one thing we have to remember, this is the smallest index in the market, and it is, at this current time, the uh, most likely to be manipulated to keep the market moving bullishly. And that's what we have seen here lately, just a very, very strong moves in some of the Dow um, industrials. While the other indexes, well, they don't look so good. First off, let's take a look at our moving averages here. Yesterday, you can see that this um, close yesterday, we failed that 50-day moving average again. But once again, we didn't break that support level across here, and we're still holding above our 200-day moving average. But you will want to keep in mind all of our shorter-term moving averages are really starting to line up up here on the Dow as a potential moving average squeeze to the downside so we'll want to kind of keep that in mind if we take a look now at our spy spy well certainly not as good a situation as the dow um, obviously much much weaker here in the chart we have not been able to break above the the bearish downtrend here in the chart we continued to as we broke this support level then we moved on through and broke this support level and we um, apparently don't have the energy to recover it um, at this um, at least at this time and as you can see uh, kind of a, a bearish little bearish uh, price action in there yesterday and if we look really closely I'm gonna pull this line down here we ended up closing below the majority of that little price support area in that chart. However, we didn't come all the way back down here and test that tail where we bounced the other day. So if we if we take a close look here, that would be a logical level of price support if those bears find inspiration today. Um, if uh, they push on through that level, well, then you can kind of see where we're going to go probably going to drop down into here at a minimum to find that next support level in the SPY. If the bulls find inspiration today and really start to push back up, well, first off, we've got that little congestion area right here with all of that price action, all of these candles right in that area. That would probably be the first test to see whether we're strong enough to push up through there. And if they do, then we have that opportunity that we could push right back up into this area where we've been struggling recently and kind of topped out um, yesterday. So watch that closely. Now, if we look at the technicals here in this chart, well, doggone it, it's just not good. 
We continue to have our moving averages tell us that we've got a bit of a problem here and that moving average squeeze above that area along with the very strong price resistance level that we see up in here. We have all of those moving averages here pressing um, this index to the downside and right now I have to give the SPY to the bears. They are winning the day here on the SPY. Now if we take a look at our QQQ, well obviously QQQ the bears won the day here. We push down and we're close to testing um, the lows of the year here in the NASDAQ. Testing this support, obviously, this was kind of a mean reversal in here. If you guys remember, this was the CPI gap up when everybody decided to celebrate. Oh my gosh, look out. We're, bye, bye, bye. Everything's great. Everything's great. But we kind of failed to think about the fact that we were pushing right into the bear downtrend um, on that big gap up. And um, what I mean is a really mean reversal. Um, they utilize that emotion to get people to buy heavily um, on that morning open and you can see the result of that. We have pulled back and haven't stopped. We broke down, we broke support in the chart, continued that move. We had a couple of day pops uh, to the upside and then right on back down here into um, this little support area in the chart. Now. If you'll notice here, if the bears continue to push, and there's no reason to believe they won't, um, we could get a little bit of a relief rally before that occurs. But if they continue to push, it's not that big a trip down here or a big, um, not difficult to see, let me say that, that we could be testing the, the lows of the year and maybe even break to new lows um, relatively soon here in the QQQ. So if those bears find inspiration, I would suspect that's our next target here in the market. If we happen to hold this price support and, and work for a bounce, then we start looking for these price levels maybe right in here, maybe a little bit higher right in here where we can go on a bounce back or a relief rally here today. So watch carefully in case those bulls find inspiration in the chart. Clearly the uh, moving average um, situation here in the NASDAQ is not a bullish situation. Uh, our 8 exponential average well below the 50-day uh, and you can see our 50-day is flattening out and actually beginning that turn with the 34 crossing down through the 20 crossing down through. Um, we're creating a, a really big technical and uh, price action resistance level in the chart there on the NASDAQ. So not the best of situations here for the Qs. If we look at our Russell, well, IWM had the same problem yesterday. Um, uh, bears coming in a little bit stronger um, here on IWM. And as you can see, we ended up in this chart, we actually broke across here we actually broke that little tail that big bounce day that we had the other day where we went down and and reversed right back up well we actually broke that low here in IWM but you can see we're trying to get a bounce here this morning um, we'll want to watch that close if um, the bears find inspiration here we do have a little bit of price support as you can see right down in this area we've got that little bottom we've got these little bottoms right in here right in here that could hold us on IWM. So that'd be the next target lower if the bears continue to push. If they push beyond that, well, I think we're probably headed back to the lows of the year. And if those bulls um, are able to find inspiration today to push up, um, I would look for maybe a little bit of price resistance right through there where we've got that little jumble of candles. We've got a little bit of price action jumble right through there as well. That might be the first area to attack. If they can push through there, then we'll look up right back up here where we were just at um, early on in the day yesterday. Um, see if we can attack that level up there. Obviously, a pretty big point move, but it what we've seen here lately that doesn't matter we can we can move huge point moves and really not go anywhere so watch that carefully if those bulls find that inspiration if we take a look at our vix 
Interestingly enough, our VIX is just really not responding much. Now, my guess is that has to do with the extremely low volume, but it is kind of remarkable with um, what we see in the market that we're not seeing more fear here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I, I'm not exactly sure if that means we're going to suddenly get a, re a bullish reversal back up or if we're just being complacent. Um, volume, the low volume probably is playing a part of that uh, move. We're just not registering enough fear here, but we'll want to keep a close eye on this. If those uh, bears continue to push through, I would look for some resistance right in here in the chart. And that'll be the critical area, I think, if we break above that and hold, then we may have some trouble here. Notice we've got a little bit of a higher low um, in in this move. So, um, you know, the bears may be starting to, to win this battle here a little bit, um, but we'll wanna watch that. If we continue to use this area of as resistance and those bulls follow through this morning with this little pre-market pop that they're trying to work, then, um, uh, then great but if the bears uh take over in here we may um or excuse me if the bulls take over in here then we could see them use that as resistance and push right on down lower so keep a close eye on it it's really hard to judge um, when we have such low volume in fact it's a very very dangerous market environment um, it's tempting um, it tempts a lot of people to over trade in this and unless you're intraday trading these quick moves Boy, um, be really, really careful of um, um, spending a lot of energy trying to buy or sell many positions because we're just not gaining a lot of traction in either way at the moment. If we take a look at our T2122, T2122, well, this is kind of an interesting chart where we keep whipsawing back and forth. Um, and you can see we're approaching our oversold condition in the chart again. If those bears find inspiration, notice we still have room to move. In fact, it'll be a pretty big point move to move all the way back down into here. So watch that, but we've opened up a very big opportunity for the bulls if the bulls can find inspiration today. So keep an eye on that. Um, I would expect volume to remain remarkably low. In fact, maybe even drop further. If we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 lost some ground yesterday. Uh, we broke that little support here in the chart. Uh, we've only got 31, 32% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. Now all isn't lost here because we still have support down in here. You can see where we could hold right in this area. Um, a lot of those little peaks um, end up right in this this area. If we lose this, then I think we have a pretty good shot that we go on down toward our um, lows of the year here in T2108. If we look at our T2107, however, T2107 held up better. Notice that T2107 holding these support levels in here. So we've got a little bit of tenaciousness in those bulls trying to hang on to some of the stocks holding above their 200 day. Um, but we'll want to watch this support level. If the bears push on through there, we could end up with a bit of a um, uh, heavy sell wave if we were to break through um, downside um, on that. So watch carefully. Um, it could pick up steam if we uh, bust that down. But 38% of the stocks holding above their 200 day, you've got you've to kind of give this one to the bulls because they're holding on to that support area here in the chart. If they can push back up, then we've got some resistance right there in the chart to be watching. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar. I'm skipping right over T2101 because um, the low volume um, here in the market is not providing us really good clues uh, for momentum. As a matter of fact, I think there's probably a 50-50 chance that we just chop it back up today um, rather than following through to the downside on that bearish engulfing candle um, just because volume is so low. You can't really put a lot of trust or faith in those candle signals and our volumes just remain you know extremely low they did pick up a little bit here in the queues yesterday 
because of that heavy selling and a little bit of pickup here in the SPY, but still quite low on the volume. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we're gonna, um, here this morning, we're gonna get initial uh, claims. Um, those jobless claims, however, haven't been helping us out here recently. Uh, in fact, the last couple of weeks, we've seen those initial claims be very, very weak. And if you um, r remember, it's kind of one of those um, good news is bad news for the market. If the jobs continue to hold up, that's bad news for the market because we know that's going to keep the Fed aggressive in uh, breaking the back here of um, employment. So watch that closely if that number comes in strong they're expecting i think it's 222,000 um jobs or something here today um on the consensus and let's see yeah 222 last time it was 216 so they're looking for a, a bit more of of layoffs um, if this number comes in strong, uh, meaning that if there is a good number of jobs um, um, created and um, we don't see um, initial claims rising um, heavily, the market will probably react negatively to that. If this happens to come in with a big surprise that many more people got laid off than expected, those initial claims really started to rise, that might be beneficial here for the market today. And then after that, we've got our uh, natural gas and petroleum status. Last time we saw our petroleum status coming in at a uh, major deficit. Um, as a matter of fact, um, our strategic reserve is now at a relatively critical area here um, um, overall. And that's gonna be a problem for us probably in the near future, the president is going to have to start buying oil and competing with the general public in buying massive quantities of oil because our strategic reserves are at 1983 lows. So we'll want to, and remember that's an emergency reserve for military actions and things like that. And that's kind of a dangerous place for us to be right now. So we'll want to watch that closely. If you'll notice right in here, we have, um, after that, we've got some bond auctions to be paying attention to in a Fed balance sheet later on, and I doubt that that's going to be um, any kind of concern for the market. As we move toward Friday, we've got a Chicago PMI that we'll want to be paying attention to, and then of course, you just have to keep in mind that um, uh, traders are going to be heading out for their holiday plans. It's going to be the getaway day of all time. Um, everyone's going to be uh, boogieing out to get ready for the long weekend and their uh, New Year's celebration. So watch that close. Now on the earnings calendar, we have another very, very light day. We only have one confirmed report uh, for today. Um, it's after the bell, um, MESA, um, a dollar, what are we looking at? A dollar 70, um, excuse me, a dollar 20 um, stock. Um, I kind of suspect that won't have any kind of a major impact on the market. So no matter what happens here today, probably won't be a big deal. And then as we roll into Friday, same thing is true. We have just one verified report on Friday, um, UXIN, which is before the market. And once again, kind of doubt that's going to have a major impact on the overall market. So earnings wise we're finished up here for the year not much to inspire the bulls or the bears you know for um, the end of the year here let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up but please keep in mind guys that um, trying to to trade this market right now can can be very very dangerous um, you're going to have to do um, your own due diligence be very very careful here um, in the market and just remember that um, anything that you look at in these charts could completely reverse overnight so um, with volumes being so low so be really really careful here first off let's take a look at some defensive sector 
um, stocks. Um, Campbell Soup has been holding up really well. Now yesterday it got involved in the selling, but you can see we've been moving in this uptrend, nice little consolidating pattern, trying to push on through to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. This may have to continue to chop out here to trend a little while before that moves on up, but watch that close. We've been seeing um, the dollar um, um, a lot of activity in the pre-market here on the dollar, but the dollar may be trying to inch back higher just a little bit. And what's happening with that is that's creating a little bit of downside pressure here on gold. But it's interesting this morning in the pre-market, we see a little gap up here in gold. Um, um, it, what I think is happening here is gold is just resting and as long as this rests above this support level in here I would keep a close eye on this for that next opportunity if this is our trend we may have a few more days of rest in there before we resume that uptrend so keep a close eye on gold silver um, is a little bit higher today you can see silver trying to pump back up here and silver's been moving in this upside trend and has been very very strong here recently and i think we should be keeping a pretty close eye on that and that opportunity that this could move on through to the upside we do want to recognize that there's a lot of price congestion over here that we're going to have to get through but um, silver's looking pretty darn good here overall. Now, if you're looking for short trades, guys, there's plenty of those out there to be paying attention to. One of my favorite trading patterns for a short is what I call a blue ice failure. Um, actually, um, a fellow by the name of David Elliott years and years ago um, had a price pattern he called the ice hole failure. Well, we've kind of changed that to blue ice failure just because it's pretty easy for that to be confused when you say it uh, too quickly. Um, and if you look at this chart, the failure pattern would be a failure underneath the 50 day. So we break back down through that 50 day moving average. We rally back to that. Uh, to that 50-day uh, moving average and then we see those sellers coming in and that chance of pushing uh, that back down and there's a lot of these charts right now if you look at uh, Pfizer um, Pfizer breaking down here in a pattern may move only back to that 50 or 200 day moving average but breaking down we're seeing some pretty ugly situations here in um, retail uh, breaking to new lows rallying back up any rally back up kind of sets up that blue ice pattern the blue ice pattern is where we fell through a fail through an average of some kind and then rally back to resistance and then we're looking for um, that potential short to occur in the market if we take a look at some big tech oh my goodness we've got some rough charts out there take a look at amazon amazon making new 2022 lows and continuing to fall here um, retail struggling you can see there's a big price support in here question is will that continue to hold we see apple um you know some of our biggest companies in the world are really struggling right now apple breaking down to new 2022 lows yesterday and we see that possibility that we could be coming into some support in this area and then if you um, take a look out there in the news there was a, just a recent survey of cfos and um, they're saying that the Dow is headed back down below 30,000 and a slim chance of a soft landing for the economy in 2023 with that high probability of a substantial recession. So um, could these continue to slide? And I think the answer is yes. I, I wouldn't chase them lower, however. I would wait for a rally back to look for any short positions in trades like that. So keep a close eye on some of those big techs. This is a struggling sector, and I think it may continue to struggle if we move into that recessionary environment. Taking a look at some other places that you might want to be keeping a close eye on, we've been talking about oil here this morning. If you look um, right in here, we rallied into this resistance in that chart. So we break support 
unable to break back through resistance and then we run into that trouble um, or that place where we could actually put in that failure and continue to move lower. Now the difference here in XLE is we try to put in this little upside opportunity in here so if that holds we may still have that opportunity with that data today on petroleum status that um, we're going to need to be buying up a lot of oil here in the country to refill the strategic reserve that that could turn around and come back up um, if you notice there's news today that gas prices or uh, natural gas prices are right back up at those high levels in europe causing lots of problems um, over there. So um, if we see um, energy prices spike back higher again, that's going to be um, an inflationary problem that the Fed is not going to be real happy with. So we'll keep a close eye on those. But if we can get that failure to occur here, that may actually improve things here um, on that on that front so lots of these charts moving around um, in kind of erratic patterns now keeping in mind here china had a um, or asia um, had a rough night last night um, red across the board um, last night because they continue to struggle with some major pandemic um, problems over there um, countries around the world are starting to limit access into their countries from china because of all of the um, the uh, disease that um, is traveling with those folks i have to avoid a few words for youtube or or they'll flag flag the video so i apologize um, if you take a look in europe right now um, europe this morning is a little bit choppy uh, we've got some of the indexes higher some of the indexes lower trying to put on a brave face here heading into the end of the year but not looking all that great we've got bond prices um, moving up a little bit here this morning um, so watch that and we've got oil prices moving lower so a lot of mix here uh, and I think there is considerable danger um, here in the market considering the low volume that we see so with that guys hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for listening this morning I do truly appreciate it if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find the video worthy, if you could please continue to do me that favor, that click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I do my best to try and put out good quality information for traders without a whole bunch of bias. So if you find these videos worthy, um, the content of this channel, please share it with other traders out there. That helps us to grow as well. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. If you're taking off for your holiday plans, have safe travels. I want to wish you all of the best and a happy new year. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early, Friday morning. Take care, everyone.